sure sign of a misspent youth. Terrible taste in headwear. Tony Barlow admits to a love affair, tracing back to first ownership. I think my parents got that from Amart back in the time. So, uh, yeah, we all, we all wanted the pro boards, but we usually ended up with the cheap ones. He dreamed of owning top-of-the-range equipment, only insufficient pocket money meant dressing up cheap decks with stickers and colourful artwork. Later, with a regular salary, Tony found funding for top labels. This is a uh, Tony Hawk from um, the 80s. Uh, this is a board which uh, I picked up for a couple of hundred bucks. It's now worth about two grand. Higher return than most investment vehicles. Part of the attraction is in the artwork. Signature designs from top names in the sport. Then there's accessories. Original 1980s tracker trucks, vision wheels, period plastics, and of course you've got to have the, uh, the proper grip tape. Too valuable to risk scuffing out on the open road. The skateboard collecting has been a way for me to replace the fact that I was never quite such a great skateboarder when I was a kid. Now in his 30s, Tony boasts a collection of almost 100. A trip down memory lane, focusing on the 80s, a golden period. We're looking for boards that are identified as NOS, which is new old school, and uh, we want them to be in mint condition. Worth a mint, so Tony's selling his treasures to finance a trip to America. The auction at the Alibi Room in Fortitude Valley on Wednesday night will feature ageing decks that come with a backstory. Mark Gator is pretty well known because he ended up in jail for murdering his girlfriend. Um, there's been other skateboarders too end up in jail for various things over the years. Make them more valuable? Uh, absolutely, mate. Tony has bloodthirsty tales of his own. Just recently I uh, put a nice gash down here from a, um, a downhill car park session late one night and uh, I also had a, a brain hematoma from um, coming a cropper one morning before work. Thrills and spills from stunts with names that make a strange vocabulary. Tony, I'm very taken with this top of the range BMW. A spin? Yep, let's go and do an ollie, a kickflip, a backside smith grind. Might as well be in Swahili. Still a timely cue for a daredevil double act. Interesting style you got there, Dougie. Love your work, Tone. Be warned, these speedsters can buck you off. Whoa! Should make a curious work cover insurance claim.